Assalamu alaikum ladies. I hope that you can hear me and see me clearly. Um, there's a lot of noise going down downstairs from my building, so I apologize for that noise. Um, this is a short live video that I just wanted to post because there was a post that I had made previously about a man basically explaining that this woman understands it really right when he says, or when she said rather, that um, a husband expresses himself in a different way and that a woman expresses herself in a different way. Men and women are wired differently, which kind of collide and clash in terms of women want romance and men want sex. So it's very difficult when a woman's need for romance and connection comes from talking, yappity yappity yap, and she wants to talk, she wants to be understood, she wants to talk about her feelings, she wants to go on about her day and how things are and how things are going and all her feelings and offload all of this emotional stuff that she's got on going inside and what's on her mind and in her head and in her heart. Whereas a guy does not like to talk generally. Of course you can get a guy talking about something that he's passionate about, but that's not what I'm talking about right here. What I'm talking about is getting a guy to connect with you on an emotional level does not happen via words. Men are about doing, men are about action, and women are about being. So that's the male and feminine uh, sort of archetype that we have there where it ties into the yin and the yang. That's a whole lot of another esoteric <laughs> information there. But what I'm basically saying is, if you want to connect to your man, the best way is to give give it up. Because if you're not there for him on a way that he responds to and speak to him in a language that he understands, which is a physical language, then sadly, he's going to feel a disconnect to you. And God forbid, he's going to go and want to look for that connection somewhere else. So if you want to connect to him, even if you've just had an argument or even if you've just had a fight, Try and see things from his perspective. Hopefully this new bit of information will help you understand your man better. And what you do is you, you basically connect on his level first and speak his love language, which is the physical love language. And if you're feeling disconnected because you've had an argument or something like that, what you will need to do is, in a way, to sometimes... Sometimes it fits the situation. Now, you'll need to use your wisdom with this, but sometimes you will need to put that feeling of anguish or, or, or anger away and connect to him in order for him to then understand you and then you can talk about your feelings. Otherwise, if his needs are not met first, he can't hear you, he can't see you because he feels this disconnect. Um, another important thing that I wanted to mention, which completely left my mind right now, don't you love it when you go blank? <laughs> um, but basically, we speak a different language, we want to be understood differently, and that's the way that men want to be understood. And hopefully when that thought does come back into my head about what I was trying to figure out that I wanted to say right now. Thank you guys for all watching. I do appreciate it. I can see you guys. Galima, Mehnaz, Nazi, Amjad. Welcome girls. Thank you so much for joining the party. And um, yeah, do leave your comments below. And do tell me if you've understood. Oh yes. If I had a penny for every single time a woman told me. That once she got it, she wasn't feeling like it at all to give her husband his rights or to have sex or to please him at all. She was not feeling it. She was not feeling it. You know what it's like, ladies, at the end of a tired day. You do not feel like it. It's, you're not in the mood. Okay? But once she allowed herself to receive this love from her man in his love language, she was then able to reciprocate and get into the mood and actually enjoy it. So a lot of us, we hope to get into the mood first and then engage in the action. It doesn't always happen that way. Sometimes you've got to get into the action first of lovemaking, of having sexual intercourse, of bonding with your husband before you actually feel like it. And once you get into it, you actually enjoy yourself. He enjoys himself. It's a win-win situation. Everybody's happy. Happy family, happy mom, happy wife, happy life, happy kids, happy home, happy everything. So with that, ladies, thank you so much for watching. And hopefully you will not refuse your man and uh, enjoy it. And honestly, by the time you're done, you're going to wonder what the heck was that about that you weren't even in the mood and you will feel so much better after the fact thank you so much love you guys assalamu alaikum